fans worldwide, welcome into another episode of Arsenal Fan Circle. Stay tuned as I give you 10 great things about Arsenal's win versus Newcastle tonight. Number one is our home form. We have played 16 games at home and we have won 14 of those games. That's 42 points and one draw. We have gained 43 points at home. Um, only losing to Manchester City. So our home form is the basis of our push for the top four. Number two, clean sheets. This has been our seventh clean sheet in the Premier League this season. Something we have really, really needed. Uh, our defence has not been up to scratch for most of the season, but now we are stabilising things. And this is our second clean sheet in a row after the Manchester United win. So that Number three, we are into third place, uh, knocking Tottenham down off of that perch. The power shift has switched back to Arsenal and London is red with this win versus Newcastle United. We go into third place. Uh, we are two points clear of Tottenham, this gum, and Manchester United with Chelsea three points back and we have a cushion. That's number three. Number four, we have 63 points. That is the whole total of last season. So we have shown definite improvement with seven games to go. If we get another 20 points, that is a 33% improvement upon last year. And there can be no argument that Unai Emery is getting the best out of this team. That's number four. Number five, we have knocked Tottenham down to fourth place, Manchester United down to fifth place, and Chelsea to sixth. These are the three teams that we targeted as our direct rivals for a top, top four spot this season. And we, nobody can dispute that we are the better of those four teams right now. Uh, this win tonight has knocked those three teams down below us. That's number five. Number six, Alexander Lacazette. He is now settled into English football and has proven this season to be a very, very important part of the Arsenal team. He has also proven Unai Emery needs to pick him every week. Uh, he has scored vital goals, leading to vital points. He's even got a lot of assists as well for a strike partner, Aubameyang, and we are seeing their understanding grow and grow. They combined wonderfully for the second goal tonight versus Newcastle. And Alexander Lacazette has proven that he can work hard when Unai Emery wasn't so sure about him, taking him off earlier in the season. He has responded with world-class displays, playing much better uh, when needed and combining very well for the team. He is a vocal part of the team, a very strong um, central striker for us. And Alexander Lacazette is fast approaching Arsenal's player of the year this season. Number seven, the play of Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey's form has started to hit really, really uh, high levels right now. He is showing uh, the way for this Arsenal team. He has shown the commitment and he has shown the endeavor and he has shown the skill and he's chipping in with vital goals. He recently scored at Wembley versus Tottenham, the scum. And tonight, he did score a tremendous left-footed strike off of the post, which got Arsenal on the way to a 2-0 victory. Aaron Ramsey has shown the commitment to Arsenal when his head could be already thinking about Italy. He has been a tremendous service servant to Arsenal over the years. And... We cannot really begrudge him uh, the opportunity to go and play in Italy uh, with Ronaldo. Uh, he always said that he wanted to um, explore for the latter part of his career going abroad to another team on the continent. Uh, I think that we will always, we're always going to maybe lose 
Aaron Ramsey this season. But he has shown commitment and understanding of what the badge means and his love for Arsenal is very, very strong. So Aaron Ramsey is a legend and we will remember him fondly for scoring uh, vital goals this year that hopefully will get us into the top four. And his journey is not over with us yet. Hopefully in the Europa League as well, he can have a contribution. Number eight, guys. Uh, number eight is patience uh, that this team has when things don't seem to be going well for them. Um, we stay defensively sound. We're playing better ball now. And we've got Ozil as well and other players that can hold on to the ball. And if you hold on to the ball longer, you're not going to give up uh, easy chances to the opposition. Uh, ball retention is very, very important. And that patience to wait for your chances to come and not um, feel the pressure, such as Tottenham, who are in free fall right now. They're really feeling pressure. So number eight is the patience to wait until the game comes to you for opportunities to score the goals such as we've seen tonight. Uh, this team is growing in terms of patience and um, getting, waiting, waiting for that chance to really, really kill the opposition. Newcastle came tonight with uh, an organized uh, defense and they were always going to be difficult to break down. But having Ozil hold on to the ball so much and keeping the ball uh, meant that our strikers could concentrate on hurting the opposition in the forward positions. And so patience and ball retention is very, very important in limiting chances against us. So number nine is Unai Emery. He's got to be applauded for the work that he has done so far. Uh, he's taken a team that was languishing in sixth place in the Europa standard. And yes, the season's not over, but right now we're in third place. Uh, Unai Emery's MO when he came in, his, his motives were to get the players to play hard and to play for the badge once more and not take their positions lightly. Uh, he awards places on the pitch due to the work that you're putting in and not due to your status. So he has actually worked in miracles with certain players who felt that their position was always safe in the team under the previous coach. And he's gotten more and more out of this team. And look at it, even half of his team is not really, are really his players. And we need to go forward with Unai Emery and applaud him and understand that he's a top, top coach and understand that uh, we are very, very lucky to have Unai Emery at Arsenal Football Club. And finally, we come to the end, number 10. 10 victories in a row at home. Uh, Emirates, the Emirates is a fortress right now. Our, um, our home form is probably the best in the league right now. Mm, only Manchester City could really rival it. Uh, we have won 10 games in a row, and it's been 20 years approximately since that has happened for Arsenal. It was the 97-98 season uh, that they achieved uh, 10 wins in a row. And that is form that not, cannot go unnoticed. It is form that will get you places in the league. And it is form that points to a good structure, a good coach, and players that are doing what they should be doing on the pitch. So that has been my 10 great things about this victory tonight. Um, if you would, um, I'm on my way to 50 subs. Please, if you like this video, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification. Drop the comments down there if you have any questions. And uh, hit the like button. Smash that like button. And uh, check out this next video up here.